The days went by, and this became a daily routine for us. Although it's a way to get knowledge, it represents a serious challenge which threatens society in many aspects. Has this ever happened to you? So what did you do? Of course you surfed the internet for the lessons you wanted. That was a great idea when you needed a teacher and didn't find him. But what if you found a teacher but you couldn't meet him? And what if this problem wasn't facing you alone? It's facing west of humanity. What will happen? Or rather, what happened? This is really what education faces in the world. People can't meet each other because COVID-19 is everywhere. Will we still be waiting in our homes and stop education until doctors discover a treatment? Or we will take care to get knowledge by any way? Yes, that's it. We will learn by electronic devices. If we aren't able to go to school, let us bring the school to us. However, for a teacher to be able to explain to you is wonderful, but it won't always be wonderful. With time, you will feel pain in your eyes as a result of looking at the screen for a long time. Your neck and your hand joints will hurt you constant sitting, it's for your health. Education depends on the interaction between the teachers and the students. In terms of body language, spatial expressions, and scientific experiments. In addition to the internet problem, he may face a problem in controlling and the interaction elements such as the microphone. The internet may be weak while attending the class, so you continue to leave and enter the class, and this will distract your teacher's ideas. On other side, e-learning has positive effects as education provides the ability to record lessons and the ability to communicate directly between the teacher and the student without the need to be in the classroom. Also, teachers' ability to use more than one teaching method for the student, such as using different strategies or displaying a video explaining the lesson points. It also provides opportunities for people with special needs, such as people who are unable to move, and it limits racism. We have collected some types for you that will help you continue with e-learning. We will start with parents. They must Provide good devices, provide headphones to hear the teacher clearly. We advise students to look to a place as far away after the daily classes because that relaxes the eye. Take a break between classes for 5 minutes. Remove any distractions during learning such as your phone. Be honest during the exams. Both e-learning and traditional education are effective. Whatever difficulties and challenges 